Hello again my friends, Destiny's latest game update is now live, an update that improves the overall experience of the game, including bug fixes, weapon balancing, additions to your inventory and a whole host of other issues. So then, let's have a look at the most interesting changes. Now the most noticeable addition to the game is this new inventory panel that shows your rank progression for each of the vendors in the tower, as well as how many Vanguard and Crucible marks you've earned so far in the week. Next up, matchmaking has now been added to the weekly heroic strikes. Nightfalls and Wraiths, however, remain as before. You'll still need to handpick a group of players to run them. Now, Bungie's acknowledged that because of this lack of matchmaking for Nightfall Strikes and Raids, many players simply cannot take part in them. This is an issue Bungie says they are thinking about for future releases. Next up, that elusive bastard Zure will now always stock exotic engrams when he drops by the tower for his weekly visit, so make sure you save those motes a light. Heavy ammo, however, is still down to random luck, so be sure to stock up on them whenever they become available. Just don't go too crazy. Next up, weapon balancing. Bungie has tweaked many of Destiny's weapons. Here's a quick summary of what's been changed. First up, auto rifles. Base damage reduced by 2.5% and effective range values reduced too. Next up, pulse rifles. Now, the base damage for pulse rifles has been increased by 9.7%. I've hopped in the crucible since the update and I've already noticed more people using pulse rifles, so expect this to now be a viable PvP weapon. Next up, hand cannons, which now have slightly reduced effective range and slightly reduced initial accuracy. Now, I've been using my Thorn and Hawk Moon since the update and quite honestly, I can't really notice the difference. Next up, fusion rifles, which now have a widened blast pattern burst comb, making it harder to one-shot kill players from a distance. It also has reduced starting ammo in PvP. And finally, shotguns, which now do 100% more damage in PvE. You'll also notice reduced high-end range value, which just means all those shotguns with ridiculous ranges will now be toned down a little. And you also get reduced starting ammo in PvP. Next up, the heavy ammo glitch has finally been fixed, which means you'll no longer lose heavy ammo every time you die, return to orbit, or encounter a cutscene. Good news for Guardians, bad news for Crota. And speaking of heavy ammo, in the Crucible, Guardians will no longer drop heavy ammo when killed. That's right, the only time you'll now be able to grab these purple boxes of death is during the heavy ammo drops. And Guardians will also now drop much less special ammo when killed in PvP. Now personally, when I risk my balls to take down a Guardian armed with a fully loaded heavy weapon, I'd like to be rewarded with their leftover heavy ammo, but that's no longer the case, and here's Bungie's reasoning behind it. Heavy ammo should be in short quick bursts, previously it stuck around too long when dropped on death. So there you have it, both heavy and special ammo are going to be a rarer commodity in PvP. Leave your thoughts about this below. Now if you'd like to read the full list of changes made to Destiny, click the link in the description box below. Massive thanks to Westlow for letting me use his insane Zure rap mashup video. You can see the full nightmarish thing in the description box below. Now I'd just like to leave you with this really cool Destiny reference picked up by YouTuber Kronos Soulfire. It's from the American television series Castle and shows Nathan Fillion who voices Katie in Destiny, making a Destiny reference. Check it out. Mars, Nova Scotia, this guy really loves barren landscapes. Come on, Ryan, you're telling me you have no desire to go to Mars. I prefer my oxygen without a can. Where's your sense of adventure, of exploration, of Destiny? Pretty cool, right? And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe for daily Destiny content, and thanks for watching, you beautiful bastards. And as always, until next time, Guardians.